I love you was his work that right now taking you through this tutorial for a level applied mathematics and this video will be on motion of connected particles involving fixed and movable pulleys so this topic is still under mechanics and is suitable for students in both senior 5 and senior 6 offering principal mathematics as part of their combination now these are the very questions I left in the previous video for you to try out so I believe by now you already try them out and ready to mark yourself and check your progress. So we shall start with question 1. Question 1 says that the diagram below shows a load of mass 5 kilograms attached to one end of a light inextensible string passing over a fixed light pulley and under a movable pulley of mass 4 kilograms. The other end of the string is fixed as shown. Calculate Roman 1 the, ten, the accelerations of the 5 kg mass and the movable pulley. And Roman 2 the tension in the string. So the first thing to do is to show the forces acting on the particles. So let's first redraw the diagram given. And after that we shall put the forces so that's a diagram which was given so like we have already said to put the forces we begin with weight so when you go to particle a the weight was five kilograms so the mass was five kilograms so the weight will be 5g and acting downwards so always weight acts vertically downwards now by Newton's third law because this one is acting downwards see attention will act upwards and here tension will act downwards okay so that is for the 5 kilogram mass what about for poly B so for poly B the weight will be 4G and acts vertically downwards because this one is downwards here tension will be upwards and here it will be downwards so this side also because this is downwards this will be upwards and here it will be downwards so Basically, those are the force. Those are the forces acting. Now, next is to show the acceleration. Now, acceleration, like we have already said, is equivalent to the distance moved. For example, if you look at this simulation, because this one is heavier than this, the five kilogram mass will move downwards, and this one will move upwards. But now the question is, if this one is pulled at distance x, what distance will this one move? So for that you realize that if this one moves at distance x then this will move at distance of half x so always this movable pulley will move half the distance moved by this mass other mass therefore if this is 2x this will be x what does that mean i think we see that it is being displaced upwards and this one is being displaced downwards therefore the acceleration for the movable pulley will be upwards and it if and to be a while for that for the five kilogram mass will be downwards and it will be to a so if this is a this will be to a so that is what we shall come here to do so you come and put the acceleration of the of the movable pulley to be a therefore the acceleration of the five kilogram mass will be downwards and it will be to a so this step is very very crucial very very crucial so because when you fail to put the correct acceleration then all the equations that will proceed will be wrong so now that you have shown the forces and the acceleration next is to use the formula of f equal to ma which is newton's second law so for the five kilogram mass when i use f equal to ma if you we shall consider these forces so this acceleration is downwards meaning that will be resultant force will be 5g minus t and to be equal to ma so the mass is 5 and a is 2a so here we shall come and write that 5g minus t will be equal to 5 times 2a so 2a is the acceleration m is the mass 5 is the mass and this is the resultant force so when i simplify 2 times 5 times 2 will give me 10 and this a will be here so we shall call that equation 1 what about for the 4 kilogram mass for the 4 kilogram mass these are the forces that are acting on it 
so it is going upwards therefore this force plus this force minus this will be the resultant force therefore the resultant force will be 2t minus 5 minus 4 4g and the mass is 4 and acceleration is a therefore you shall come here and write that 2t minus 4g is equal to 4a so now we have two equations and two unknowns next we will be solving them simultaneously so i'll come here and say that two times when i multiply multiply two throughout equation one and i add it to equation two this is what i'm going to get so i think you realize that this t will cancel two t will cancel but this minus that will give me 6g then this plus this will give me 24a So before I go to the next slide, let's see marks for this slide. So B1 for the force for diagram drawn correctly, then B1 for equation 1, equation 2, another M1 for adding the two equations correctly to eliminate T. But I know that G is 9.8, so I'll come and substitute for G, and I'll remain with only A as an unknown. Therefore, when I simplify, A will be 2.45 meters per second squared. That means that 2A will be twice this, so 2 times 2.45 will be 4.9 meters per second squared. What does that mean? It means that the acceleration of the 5 kilogram mass is 4.9 meters per second squared, downwards why that for the four kilogram mass is for is 2.45 meters per second squared upwards now we shall go to roman 2 so for roman 2 we shall start from equation 1 remember equation 1 was this was equation 1 that 5g minus t is equal to 10a so from equation 1 we are going to substitute for a and for g to remain with only t as an unknown so when i make t the subject t will be equal to 24.5 so basically that's what they wanted and now let's see how mass can be awarded so a1 for acceleration of the movable pulley and a1 for acceleration of the five kilogram mass m1 for substitution here in equation one and a1 for the tension now we shall go to question 2. Question 2 says, came from UNEB 1997, paper 2, question 13b, and it says, the diagram shows particle A of mass 0 0.5 kilograms attached to one end of a light in extensible string, passing over a fixed light pulley and under a movable light pulley B. The other end of the string is fixed as shown below. Roman 1, what mass should be attached to be for the system to be in equilibrium know that word equilibrium then part b Ro or roman 2 if b is 0 0.8 kilograms what are the accelerations of the particle and pulley b so we shall start with roman 1 so the first thing to do is to show the forces acting on the particle so we shall first redraw the given diagram so that we shall start to show the forces so like i told you the best way to show the forces is to begin with the weight which acts vertically downwards so for particle a weight will be 0 0.5 g because the mass was 0 0.5 kilograms and it's acting acting downwards therefore here tension will act upwards and yet will act downwards so action and reaction are co but opposite. So that is for A. What about for B? So for B, weight will act vertically downwards. Remember we say that let M be the mass of B. Therefore, weight will be Mg. Then here, tension will act upwards. And here it will act downwards. For this side, tension will act upwards. And here it will act downwards. So now we have already, we have shown the forces acting. Remember they told us that they are in equilibrium, meaning upward forces are equal to downward forces. So we shall come and say that for body A, for this body, the forces acting on that body are these ones. Therefore, this T will be equal to 0.5G. 
So you can answer that T is equal to 0 0.5 G. What about for body B? So for body B, these are the forces acting. There are four upward forces are T plus T, which is 2T equal to Mg, capital Mg. Therefore, you can see that 2T is equal to Mg. Now, these are two equations and two unknowns. So what I'm going to do, I can substitute for T. So, so when I substitute equation 1 into equation 2, bring this T here to come up with that. So in this case, I have only one unknown. I think we realize that this G can cancel and I remain with M as an unknown. Therefore, M will be equal to 1 kilogram. Therefore, mass of B is equal to 1 kilogram. So before it goes Roman 2, let's see how mass can be awarded for Roman 1. So B1 for the correct first diagram, B1 for equation 1, B1 for equation 2, M1 for substitution here, and A1 for the mass, the value of M. So for Roman 2, they say that if the mass attached is 1, is 0 0.8 kilograms. So we are going to first redraw and also show the forces acting, then we show the accelerations. So these are the, these are the diagram given. Now we are going to start with the weight. So for this side it will be 0 0.5 g acting downwards. Then here to be tension acting upwards and here tension acting downwards for this side. They told us the mass is 0 0.8 kilograms, so it will be 0 0.8 g the weight. Then here tension will act upwards and here to act downwards. And here to act upwards and here to act downwards. So those are the forces acting. Now the next thing to is to show the acceleration. Now remember equilibrium was attained when this mass was one kilogram. So when it is smaller than one kilogram, it means that it will move upwards and this will move downwards. Therefore, it will be as you can see it here. Like we did in the in question one, if this one covers the distance of two x, this will cover a distance of x. Therefore, the acceleration of the movable pulley will be A, and that one of the mass will be to A. So let's put those accelerations and we start the calculations. So we shall put A here and here we shall put 2A downwards. Now for body A, body A, these are the forces acting, therefore it's pointing downwards, meaning it will be, the resultant force will be 0 0.5 G minus capital T. Therefore, we shall come and say that from F equal to MA, resultant force is that and mass is that and acceleration is that. When I simplify, I'll come up with that as equation 1. What about for body B? For body B, these are the forces acting. Therefore, upward forces are 2T, and so the resultant force will be 2T minus 0.8G. Therefore, I'll come and say that using F equal to MA, resultant force is that, M is zero, that, and acceleration is that. So I've got two equations and two unknowns, so the next thing will be solving them simultaneously. So I'm going to multiply two throughout equation one and add it to equation two, and this is what I'm going to get. So when I add both equations, you realize that this 2t and this 2t will cancel, that g minus 0 0.8 will give me 0 0.2g, and 2 plus 0 0.8 will give me 2.8a. But I know that G is 9.8, so I'll substitute for G and I remain with A as an unknown. Therefore, when I make A the subject, I'll come up with A being equal to 0 0.7 meters per second squared. What about 2A? So that means that the acceleration of the movable pulley is 0 0.7, while that of the, of the 0 0.5 kilogram mass will be 2A, so 2 times 0 0.7 will be, will be 1.4 meters per second squared. So I can come and conclude that the acceleration of the movable pulley is zero. That is that upwards, while that of particle A is that downwards. So that's what they wanted. Now let's see how mass can be awarded. So B1 for the correct first diagram. B1 for equation one. B1 for equation two. M1 for addition, A1 for output, M1 for multiplying by 2, and A1 for output.
Okay, so what I'm going to do, I believe you have marked yourself and checked your progress. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you with another set of questions still on motion of connected particles involving fixed and movable pulleys. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and be reminded that the solutions for the assignment left will be available in the next video. So if you have not yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button below this video so that you can receive updates when the next video on the solutions has been uploaded. Also, if you know any student who is not yet on this platform, please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like Facebook and WhatsApp so that we can all benefit as a family.